Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mr. What's going on guys welcome back to the channel and today we're finally going to be revealing the e46 m3 clone so if you follow me on instagram you might have noticed that i actually posted a couple little teasers of the car and if you have been following the videos you already know what color the car was painted or if i've spoken to you maybe a few of you guys might have already known what the car or what the color was so this is not nardo gray even though it does kind of look like it in the pictures. So this is a BMW color. So the color that I got the car painted is Hockenheim Silver, which you get it off the M2 competitions. And um, I mean, I don't want to talk a lot. I just want to go ahead and show you guys the car and then we'll kind of get into a lot of the other details. So let's go ahead and uh, turn the camera around and show you how the car looks. running low on light so i'm gonna try to hurry this up as much as i can i'm not gonna drag it on too much i just wanted to make a reveal video to show you guys how the car looks i have to say that my expectations were highly met when i went into this with the guy who painted the car i wasn't sure what to expect and to be honest for what i paid i really cannot complain whatsoever when i ended up building this car it was going to be one of those projects where at first it was supposed to be my show car i was supposed to get it wrapped do like a whole bunch of crazy things to it but then over time i got the f32 and then at that point i had already completed well i had already started this project so i wanted to go ahead and finish it and i'm really glad that i did i was really contemplating on selling the car as it is for the longest that's why the car just kind of sat there and it was one of those things where i actually started this project almost two years ago and it's just i don't know it's one of those things where like i almost forgot that i had the car people forgot that i had this car but you know it never really drove like it like i would turn it on and stuff drive it around the block and you know instead of just letting it sit but it was just one of those things where the car needed so so many little things to take care of like it was it was mostly cosmetic things but you know i started focusing on one thing at a time instead of trying to do everything at once which just which was getting you know very overwhelming so just by looking at the uh car here you can tell that i'm missing the trim so i ended up stopping by ecs tuning whenever i was in ohio for work and unfortunately they didn't have all the clips that i needed so i have to order those so you'll see that the other side has them missing. So I was able to put on the ones on the fender, the door. So I have to do the quarter panel on both sides and the door on the other side. So I have the trim over here, the vent, which is a gloss black. I ended up going with gloss black kidney grills. I also picked this up from ECS while I was up there. So whenever I bought the hood, this one was actually painted. So I was like, you know what? It's really cheap I, it was actually a lot cheaper than i expected it was like 30 dollars for that thing so i ended up getting a new emblem as well and if you guys forgot the housing on the headlights is carbon fiber which i think is pretty cool i ended up going with clear turn signals which i think matches the overall color of the car 
now the wheels i know some of you guys are actually going to like it and some of you guys are probably still not a big fan of polished wheels which is completely fine i'm actually considering considering doing like a gunmetal or if i don't know if i can find the right set of wheels i might do like a champagne gold so i think those are the two colors that i would change um over the polish so you guys can let me know in the comments down below leave the wheels polished or change it up to a gunmetal or maybe a uh, gold more than likely it would be gunmetal just because in the gold there's very little options but i'll do my best and just depending on the comments i'm actually normally i tend to do whatever i want but i am always open for consideration from other people um so going back to the back um actually before we go to the back i want to go ahead and talk to you guys about the front end so if you guys are wondering this used to be if you are actually new to this channel new to this video first time watching this was actually a 330 a regular 330 which i ended up getting a factory m3 hood fenders and a aftermarket bumper which is made for the m3 so everything is factory except the front bumper so then we go back to the side of the car we're running factory e46 side skirts and then for the quarter panels we are actually running click tuning so these are from uh click tuning which they are i want to say i think in russia don't quote me correct me if i'm wrong uh, it's been a while since i ordered these but yes these are actually fiberglass so i ended up having them molded onto the car and i originally i was going to go with hardware i didn't like it just because it was kind of off balance I, like i didn't want to run hardware in the back and then nothing in the front so i ended up having the guy who was previously working on the car mold them i hope they last um honestly at this point i don't know it's kind of one of those things where like over time i started seeing major flaws on the well not major but i started seeing flaws on the bodywork and i just wasn't happy with it so i had the guy who did the the paint work kind of go over the quarter panels and try to flatten them out as much as possible also they're not 100 percent perfect but like i said for what i paid for the the paint job i really cannot complain just because of the amount of money that other people were quoting me was actually about double of what i paid so i think i found my paint guy um you know it's one of those things where i told him that i would send them more business if everything came out good so i think i'm just going to keep it very selective because the guy does have other work that he has to do but you know for the homies i'll look out <laughs> so anyways around back you guys are going to see that the trunk is still the factory silver so this shows you what the factory color looked like compared to the new color right now you can't really tell because the sun is actually already completely gone um, but here you can tell this looks more like a chalk color than this uh, than the original silver but i do have the csl trunk in the car actually that i have to replace swap out but I, will, I wanted to leave that for a different video and i was just anxious to show you guys how the car looks so we still have the factory diffuser but i do have a carbon one i didn't get it painted just because i really do think that i'm going to try my best to afford the beamer club diffuser uh, no beamer world diffuser um, beamer club is actually my shirt <laughs> but i beamer world does offer a diffuser for the e46 m3 that is a single exit so what it does is it kind of has like a cool little diffuser um, fan coming out right here in the middle but you have the outlet for the exhaust right here on the side so i think that would be pretty cool to keep it for kind of like resembling the 330 exhaust that's kind of where it, it comes out so i didn't want to get the diffuser painted just because i think that if i end up selling that diffuser it'll be easier to sell unpainted but we also do have some brand new tail lights that i ended up swapping out i got these from usr auto um i don't think i ever made a video about these but i think i did mention it at one point like i didn't do an install video but yes they're from usr auto and they look to me honestly they look almost factory that's pretty much it one thing is one of the the other side does not have this trim just because i'm going to have to redo the gasket and i think i'm going to be redoing it on this side as well i thought about buying new ones but they're like 750 a piece and there is no way that i'm going to spend 1500 
on some trim pieces like i'll rather do a custom gasket find a way to do a custom gasket that just fits from here to i think it comes to here or maybe here i don't know i have it marked on the on the other trim but there's no way i'm going to be spending 1500 dollars on a trim for this car that is not supposed to be a show car like 100 percent show car this is a car that i can drive around drive it to local meets and obviously at some point i am going to be taking it to shows like i really don't care like if this car wins or not but I have to say, I really do love the outcome of the car. So um, I included my reaction at the beginning of the video when I first saw it in person. And I mean, still looking at it, I'm like, damn, this thing looks good. So it, like I said, it's you guys know that it's not an M3. Like I'm not going to claim it to be as an M3. I'm actually going to order a custom tag that says 330CI. Um, and then I think for my F32, I'm going to be ordering a tag that says uh, 440i or 440, something like that. Um, just because I don't want people to think that I'm trying to make the cars look like they're something that they're not on purpose. I just love the process of building something unique. And obviously, this is easier on the pockets to maintain. The F32 is the same, even though the S55s are actually really reliable besides the crank up. Um, I just think overall, long term. I just wanted to do something different. It's definitely not out here trying to catfish, trying to make people believe that I have two M cars, but they definitely do look like them. So for the people that do not know these cars, they're going to think that this is a E46 M3. I mean, overall, the front end looks exactly the same. The quarter panels are aggressive. These are actually more aggressive than the M3. Just like my 4 Series, the back end is wider. I can fit a more aggressive wheel on the back than a M car can. So that's the cool, cool thing about it. You know, it's not metal, but I'm just going to do my best to try to make it work. I really don't see myself selling this car unless somebody just comes out to me and throws me a offer that I can't refuse. I love this car. I love the way that it came out. Uh, but that's pretty much that's going to do it for today's video guys um stay tuned the next video is probably going to be me putting on the csl trunk and then by then i should have all the trim on the car and then after that we're going to be throwing on the diffuser and also the front lip so the car is going to look super good a lot better than what it does now and i just can't get over this view look at this you guys are going to see this car at some events too, like Cars and Coffee. I might end up taking it to. Um, I might register for some shows. September the 16th, I am, before I end this video, this is already pretty long of me just rambling around. And if you stuck to the, stuck to the end of the video, thank you very much. But September 16th, I am hosting an event here in Winston-Salem. So if you guys are free. Be sure to come out. I will have this car out there. I will have the F32 and I will have Joy's F30. And I will also be selling some shirts. So come out and support. Come out, come out and talk to your old friends. Make some new friends. It's going to be a good time. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.